Hi guys, we'll start with the, the second program of the list. Uh, okay, mm, and the list is this. Okay, write a list program to implement. Uh, no, we'll not start with this one. We'll not write uh, this program today. I'll write the third program. Write a list program that finds the longest word in the input. So we'll uh, make a little bit of changes in this program, and we'll uh, find uh, write a program that finds the longest word in the input file so we'll find uh, the longest word from the input file and we'll uh, print the length of that word so that's the main aim of today the video okay so initially we'll uh, make uh, a file named let's say largest okay longest dot l hmm. and uh, Okay, and uh, we'll also make another text file. Let's say named abc dot txt, and we'll write something here. Uh, this is uh, this is the series of uh, this is the series of uh, Lex programming PH from Page by my curly code. Okay, this is the series of Lex programming page by my curly code. So this is uh, the sentence which is there in our abc.txt, and we'll have to find the largest word in this abc.txt. So according uh, as we can see that the largest word is either it can be okay let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 okay it can be either this or this right so let's have a look okay i think uh, we should remove this uh, one in so that uh, uh, it's not that uh, uh, because they both are having the uh, same length right so in order to avoid that well, I'm removing just one M here. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Cool. So the output should be my curly code, and uh, the length should be eight. Okay, so we'll start a program uh, by writing uh, direct. Uh, okay, let's start the program. So before directly coming to the program, let's first understand uh, the division, uh, the parts in the program. Look, now there are three parts in the program. Uh, there are three parts in the program uh, and we'll write the first part from here to here, from here to here, right? So the first part is, let's say, and uh, uh, there is something in this uh, something written in this particular uh, brackets in between of these brackets and uh, that will be used uh, in the program right so uh, and uh, uh, so this first part is uh, known as the definition part where we define uh, the variables or uh, the uh, functions or uh, the header files which uh, will be used in our program so for this program let's say uh, i'm going to include hash include uh, uh, stdio dot h okay and uh, one more thing uh, let's say any variable named uh, mm, k so okay so for now for time being only these two things are there which I'm going to use in this program. Cool. So the next thing is okay, the next thing is uh, in this part we write rules associated uh, with the program. So in this case uh, it's the longest uh, uh, program to find the longest word in the uh, from the input file. So uh, what sort of rules or patterns uh, we'll use so that uh, we get the desired output so we'll write it here from uh, in this part okay 
and uh, the third part is from here to the end uh, it's something uh, it's uh, uh, it's the part where uh, we write our main function and uh, this main function is often um, uh, written in the third part only so let's start uh, writing our main function here int main int arc c and uh, cat star uh, star arc v so okay and uh, now as we have made this file also abc.txt so we need to open this file in uh, uh, either read write or uh, 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 or any of the other formats right so uh, for in this program we have to open this file in the reading mode so if open is the function for that and uh, we'll write uh, uh, the name of the file here mm, the name is abc.txt and uh, uh, in order to write it as uh, in order to open it, uh, it uh, in the reading mode we'll have to write it r here if let's say we are opening it in the writing mode then we have to write it w here so in this program we are opening it here in the reading mode that's why we are writing here r and as we are opening it in the reading mode and uh, 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 it is opened and uh, we now we can read okay so now what all we'll read from this file abc.txt we'll have to store it somewhere or uh, for the use right so let's say this is uh, the variable viber.in where we are uh, storing all those things so uh, it's basically a file pointer viber.in viber in and uh, it will represent the file from which uh, the input is being taken so in this case it will represent abc.txt and uh, the file is in the reading mode so or it can be understood that uh, this viva in is uh, in uh, in layman terms it is used to take input from a file uh, when we have opened the file in either of the modes then we can directly uh, store those uh, file uh, store the file in viva in okay so now what we will do is uh, as we have stored uh, everything in uh, uh, every possible thing in viber in now we'll have to call viber text uh, i'm sorry viber lex it's viber lex and uh, this is the function uh, which will uh, which will, will uh, help us to give the control to the rules part or the part which is uh, having patterns for the for the program so this is the part uh, which is having patterns for the program uh, in order to obtain the desired output so uh, with this particular viber lex will give the control will will shift the control from here to here so this is used for this purpose and uh, will return zero here so mm, okay i don't think anything else is required here okay and uh, and now we'll write uh, the uh, uh, rules part or the part uh, which is having patterns and uh, there are associated actions uh, within those patterns so that uh, we'll get the desired output and uh, i think there is something wrong in this part because the coloring is not uh, coming as desired mm, let's have a look huh now it's good uh, this should be uh, before uh, this bracket curly bracket and uh, okay let's align it properly so now we'll write uh, the part uh, which is the rules part we'll write uh, a to z in a lower case and a to z in upper case and plus where is plus okay so this is the thing which is used so that uh, we can uh, find all sort of uh, uh, words which are the mix uh, which are the mixture of uh, uppercase and lowercase and uh, we are just assuming that words are not having any number in it right so it's like uh, the word is uh, alphabet so it's not having any word uh, any 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 number uh, in it the word is main it's it will not have any word in it so we are just assuming that 
and uh, we'll uh, make uh, we assume that it can be either in uppercase or in lowercase okay so and plus is used so that it can uh, come one or more times and a star is used for uh, so that it can come uh, zero or more times so we're using plus here and we'll start the curly braces and we'll just uh, uh, use the if condition and uh, we'll write something in it so we'll use the if condition and we'll uh, uh, use this function which is by will link and if it is let's say greater than k then what will happen so why will link is basically used to find the length of the particular word or yeah uh, it's used to find the length of the particular word mm. uh, or uh, or simply it's used to find the length okay mm. we'll compare the length of uh, uh, now if let's say if it is greater than y where y where length is greater than k okay before direct uh, before coming uh, to this part we have to initialize k also so let's say k is initialized to zero and now why will length is uh, uh, there is something let's say five is uh, the uh, 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 why length is initialized with five so uh, this will uh, this loop will satisfy uh, this if condition will satisfy and will enter in this if condition and now what we have to do is is uh, k equal to y by length we'll just write this statement uh, with which uh, what will happen in this statement is it will update the value of k with the value of y well length which was 5 which we have supposed that uh, uh, the value of y well length was 5 and uh, it will change the value uh, it will update the value of k with the value of y well length so <coughs> so this way uh, i think um, it will run huh now uh, uh, we have made our production rule uh, our actions uh, part here and we have to now uh, print it somewhere else so print if and uh, as we have to find the largest so let's say largest is uh, mm, okay b and uh, and uh, it will be k and it'll also print uh, the new line so that uh, it will be good to see not uh, it will not say in our eyes so i think everything is uh, right here yeah so we should uh, start with uh, uh, running this program and uh, we'll open the terminal and we'll go to the place where this file is saved uh, it's saved in desktop so cd restart and we'll write the command with which it will work lex and the file name was longest dot l okay 6 and 11 there is some problem on line 6 and line number 11 let's have a look at this line number 6 and line number 11 line number 6 and line number 11 mm. and what is line number 11 okay this is line number 11 mm. k it is greater than k and a to z and a to z I think everything is fine. Let's again have a look at this problem. Huh, it's working now. Uh, we have to give space here in order to work it. So it's working now. And now we'll uh, write uh, GCC and lex dot y by dot c and uh, minus LSL. okay it's working again so now uh, what this lex uh, longest dot l lex uh, space file name does is it's basically the process 
um, it, it processes the lex file and it generates this scanner okay so with this particular statement it will help us to generate this scanner it will process the lex file and it will generate this scanner corresponding to this file and with this particular statement what will happen is it will compile the scanner which was generated by the previous line and grab the name from the lex library and the library is this library minus lsl it's basically an option and uh, we can also use uh, i think minus ll in this case uh, 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 instead of minus lsl so it's working for now so let's uh, forget it and uh, now what we'll do is we'll directly uh, run the dot slash let's have a look at it uh, uh, what all files are made in this okay so the files are dot slash a dot out we'll run this dot slash a dot out okay largest is 11 so let's have a look at our abc.txt file so what's the largest number i don't think this is the largest is no 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 uh, programming it can be the largest uh, let's count it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten no it's uh, ten so it's not the largest so obviously then my curly code is the largest one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so uh, my curly code is the largest uh, largest um, word uh, in the file abc.txt so so we have achieved what we was uh, what uh, what was the aim uh, what was our aim in the starting of this lecture and uh, i'll uh, just quickly review this particular code what what all it is saying and uh, what are the parts uh, in this program so this particular thing is uh, the definition part and this is the uh, rules part or patterns part actions part and this is uh, the main part there are many programs or uh, many uh, sites where this part is optional and uh, these two are they say that these two parts are compulsory but uh, uh, we can write uh, the code without this and this part so uh, we can also say that uh, these two parts are optional and this part is compulsory this part will be given in every every other program because this is the rules part right and uh, so i think uh, that's it for today so bye bye and uh, thanks for watching this video do subscribe and like com and comment if you like this video thanks bye bye